So guys, we are... Uh... This is day two. And so we, uh, there was like a ridiculously long wait at the, uh, the, ho like the hotel at a breakfast place. And then we wanted to go to this little smoothie place. And uh, they, the, the lobby, the actual place is not open, but uh, the drive through is open. So we don't have a car for the weekend because we're literally like for here for two days and we're, we're less than a mile from the venue. So it's a nice walk. Sorry about the wait. We're kind of getting so here. we're doing a walk through. Which is allowed. Yeah. It's in good morning. This part of the country. Slackers, just hanging out. NECC, greatest weekend of all time. Greatest weekend of all time. This weekend. Echo, who's going to win uh, the main event? The main Gordon event. or oh, Andre Galvao? I don't know. I don't you've know. been right every single time. Every person you've predicted has won. So please, tell well, us the truth. Come on, right, we got to right, know. All right, the truth is, every prediction I made has been wrong so far. So, I don't know. I'm going to stick with I don't know. Because on the one hand, I know how good Andre Galvao is. But we all know how good Gordon is. So who knows? I don't know. We're going to see about that. That's why we're here. We're here to find out. Check. Is in the mail. Oh wow! I was just doing like mic check. One, two, you know. <laughs> go it. Let's go ahead. Echo gave us a great prediction. He's been right every single time, like we mentioned. So. Who, Echo Charles. Yeah, he's right every single time. Do you right. believe that? I don't know. Uh, Echo being right? Yes. Not so much. Okay, you're accurate. Very accurate there. Check. So who who do you think is going to win the main event? Andre main event. or uh, Gordon? Well, I think. The people that are going to win is the fans. That's a great answer. You like me, don't you? It's very good. Look, it's jujitsu. Obviously, Gordon is a dominant force right now. I mean, he's, he looks like he's barely even trying out there. He's winning and dominating in an effortless manner. Things are happening. So, yeah, you got a dominant force that's just a, a total beast. But, you know, it's a jiu-jitsu match. There's, there's rules involved that, you know, we'll, we'll see what kind of strategy that Galvao can pull together and see what he could do. I mean, Galvao's been a champion for a long time. He's obviously a beast, incredible at jiu-jitsu. Uh, you know, I was teaching a seminar a little while ago, and somebody asked me, like, oh, well, what would you do? Like, Gordon Ryan does this thing. What would you do? And I was like, oh, if Gordon Ryan did that to me, I'd shoot him. <laughs> He's too good. So uh, he's, a scary, he's a scary guy and it's just sick. It's awesome. They're both excellent. 100%, man. It's going to be savage. Thanks, man.
almost 12 o'clock 12 o'clock which means it's three in the morning our time my biological clock is like man I'm gonna pass out and I like, get it well in, so even like and even back home like I don't I don't go past about 1130 on most nights unless there's a big occasion which is a big occasion yeah it was cool so main event we or the super fight what are your thoughts I mean, it was kind of what we all expected, right? I mean, it's like it was. It was like a changing of the guard. I mean, just Gordon's like young; he's on a different level, and you've got uh, Andre, who's now like it just it's just different, you know. Do you I mean? think that um, what I am glad to see though is that, that they kind of like I think Gordon was like super fucking cool afterwards, yeah. and like I was I, I thought it was cool, right? Like, cause that's like one of the things with like Gordon. A lot of times, people like cool get angry about whatever this and that but if you ever actually see his interactions most of the time like with fans and even after matches it's usually yeah. pretty cordial and very nice and respectful yeah i think it played out almost like too perfectly yeah. like i i was like something's gonna pop yeah. it's like he's got this 
his path. Like he's got to beat everybody in his, in his division. He did it like he had an easier day today than he had in the first day. Yeah. So yeah, if you watch like one of the things that's interesting is so like for you guys watching this, one of the things that's interesting is if you watch people when they compete, you can all like not always because sometimes people come back, but you can sort of see who's getting the better of the exchange yeah. based upon their breath patterns and you know, the respiration. Yeah. And if you watch it, like an example of that is with um, when Cade was competing, he was literally like when he was going against he, uh, when he was going against Mika. Mika. If you watch the match, he wasn't breathing through his mouth um, pretty much the whole match, which means right. like he's not even in like the next gear. And then Mika was. You're like, oh, like. So like you know that, and then you watch Gordon and Andre. Gordon's breathing was very like slow, and um, Andre's got very fast, very quickly. So you know, and I don't know if it was because he kind of come out there was like, very aggressive. Maybe got a little uh, little adrenaline dump or something. Yeah. You know, so because he came out and he was just like just like actually like almost like striking yeah, him, yeah. punched like almost like open hand struck him to right, the right. chest a couple times. Yep. Um, I think he's trying to just set like be aggressive. I don't know if he's trying to throw him off his off his game or yeah. what, but. It could be, but there's some good matches. Great um, matches, man. Amy yeah. Campo, yeah. her winning. Former guest, and then uh, another former guest, Cade Rotolo. Cade he Beast. Won. Looked great, and then... Um, Ty looked great. Ty, Ty took third. In the open. And then Giancarlo, like he was, I think he yeah. was probably the, the biggest, like, You think he up. was the biggest, like, the breakout? I mean, it would have to be him or Cade, because those, <sighs> those were two guys that most people wouldn't have put on their list for, like, winners. Right. You know, they would have thought, oh, they're going to win a round or two, but they wouldn't have, like, put them on the list of, like, they're going to win the whole damn thing. And both of them did it, and, like, they did it pretty impressively because both Cade and Giancarlo, like, fucking, they look great. They finished their dudes. Yeah, um, I mean. In most cases, so, I mean, so it was great. A lot of, like, I mean, just, like, the matches were so, like, were so good. Yep. I mean, people just were, some, some, you know, we're kind of playing the like the the rules game, but some people are just going for the win and just trying to finish. Like watch yourself. Like Cade, Ty, they were going for like trying to finish. Um, Giancarlo was going for the finish, trying to you know getting in, in all kinds of good you know good scrambles. Um, do you have a favorite match? Favorite match? No, I don't think I had a favorite match. It was too many, too many good matches. Um, there were several like several moments where like everybody stood up, um, you know like I think when Amy when she got her hooks in right, that, that was, was a big awesome. one. It was like a, less I than a minute seen ago. Rita like that was he like with his like uh, uh, his uh, arm bar arm bar on cyborg, and then um, you know a couple of matches were like they were ready to stood up. So I don't there's no I don't, I don't have a favorite match, but it was a really good one. I feel, and I feel like it was a very exciting. ADCC for the most part, there were very few like snoozer matches, and uh, so it was a great event. So I had a blast, and uh, hopefully they'll be able to keep uh, that kind of thing going. Yeah, I think the production was just excellent. Like the way they made it like a huge event. They had the the Pride drums going on. Like if you ever seen Pride Fighting Championship, the drums. Well, they had the Pride drums. Uh, the Pride like the announcer, yeah. All the stuff. Some fireworks and. Yeah, I mean they like they really did it up. Like, man, it's a, and we got to see Hall of Fame. I got to see some mm -hmm. cool uh, Marcelo, Henzo, Mark Kerr, yep. one of my favorites. So it was very yeah, cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. cool. It was an awesome experience. So, you guys should huh? make sure you come next time. Yes.